I'll tell you what, folks, and you probably already know this, but the mainstream media is a vile, vile entity. It doesn't exist to give us the news anymore like it did, but instead it's a, it's a propaganda arm of the left. And as for me personally, I don't believe a word the mainstream media says. It's been proven that they printed lies about Donald Trump during the 2016 US election. They also told lies about the pro-Brexit movement. They went along with the narrative regarding the jab and lockdown. And as for the Ukraine war and what's happening in Israel, well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? And so we come to Calvin Robinson. Now, as we remember, Calvin Robinson was fired from GB News, the not the home of free speech, simply because he stood by and stuck up for his colleagues Lawrence Fox and Dan Wooten. Lawrence Fox was also subsequently fired. And so, because he was worried about paying his rent and putting food on the table, etc., he set a GoFundMe. And the target was something like £30,000 just to help keep him going until he finds another way of earning an income. And he reached that total pretty quickly. However, the mainstream media are not happy or content that a Christian black man with conservative common sense views on their most hated uh, news channel got sacked they looked to kick him while he was down and what they did was they found out he had been to florida or disneyland to be exact and they put it about on social media that he used the funds from his gofundme to fund this or to do another alex belfield basically now of course this was a lie and calvin robinson proved it because this trip to america had been booked months in advance and he provided the plane ticket to prove it because the whole thing the flight, the trip to Disneyland, it was all paid for by a group of uh, Anglicans who he went to Florida to see in order to make a speaking engagement. And this is what the mainstream media does. It not only lies, but it goes to uh, great lengths to destroy people's lives. And GB News would have known this as well because he would have booked the time off, wouldn't he? But they didn't leap to his defence because they wanted to see the guy who stuck up for Lawrence Fox uh, kicked into the gutter as well, the nasty buggers then. And I'm glad to see the viewership of GB News going down as well, because if you look at the figures, and you can find them online, uh, Calvin Robinson's show now, where he's not on it, it gets like 11,000 views when he got much, much more. And what do they expect when they have uh, fake, or to quote Lawrence Fox, cosplay freedom fighters like Mark Dolan, who helped put the boot into the three of them? while well, they were suspended. And Dan Wooten's still suspended, by the way, so God knows what's going to happen to him. I suspect they might keep him on. But regardless, you've got non-entities like Mark Dolan and Patrick Christis. And Patrick Christis, by the way, sometimes has a guy on his show as an analyst who once said on camera that the Nazis should have won World War II. I mean, my goodness. So there we go. Nobody's watching GB News anymore. And if people go on there as guests and still try to sell themselves as freedom of speech proprietors, then they're lying, aren't they? Anyway, that's my video. Please comment, share, subscribe, and until the next time, have a great weekend, and Roger Trout.